Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're back to two digits. Let's hop into level mode. So, and hitting more speed bumps in playing this series. There we go. Uh, tried to play it a little bit last night for me, and that small amount just was still, still so mentally draining that that I could only get 30 minutes and then I went and played another hour and 30 minutes of Peggle Deluxe which okay so now I'm recording two games at the same time which is not something I normally do but yeah in this case I think I'm gonna have to make an exception for things like this. Uh, this is 53. This is 60. Hmm. There's a difference of three here. There's a difference of two here. Hmm. If I could find a difference of one, there's a difference of one here, so we'll start with that. And then I guess the difference of three was here, so 97 and here and that. That gives us a difference of two, all right. So put this in the red column, put this in the green column, and we're on to the next puzzle. So we've got still quite a lot to do here it, it's surprising that a lot of these small cheap relatively cheap 99 cents or thereabout games that you get on steam which is i imagine as much as i would ever pay for a game that just on first appearance looks like this because uh you can show as many trailers and screenshots as you want there's only so many screens you can even show on a game like this uh, I really wouldn't spend too much uh, too much more than than the than 99 cents on a game like this and usually when I end up buying a game on Steam that's that cheap there's a high probability that it's not very good or it's very short uh, and we're not having that as an issue here. If, if anything, I've I've been very, very much well rewarded. Hmm. Now I am two away. This 94 and this 93 is one away. So the thing here is this is four away, and then this was six away. So maybe by getting rid of these two, I'm f like four away, and then, yeah, that gets us to two away, but you're 12 away between these two and one away between these two. Now, I don't want to involve the one aways uh, right now. I mean, I could do it, certainly, and that gets us one away in the other direction. But, I've got to figure out what I can take here. Let's see, this would be 90, if I had these two, that would be 112. And add this, this would be 111. So let's get rid of these two. Hmm. Alright. Let's see. So what can I add together that would get me a hundred and, well, not a hundred and fourteen, just twenty. Hmm. Twenty away. This is four away, right here. This would be, let's go ahead and reset this, these two. Or 89 and this is six away hmm 
and this is two away. Hmm. If I add this together, this would be 90. This would be 86, which is three away. Hmm. If we did this instead of this, then I trying to accomplish there now I'm 35 away that's two away and we have one here that's one away and this would be 58 which would be six away from that this would be 86 which is three away hmm let's try this 86 adding to this and this that's one away got it so now we put this in the green side and this in the red side nope this in the green side this in the red side moving on to the next one 75 when you add those two together which and the next closest thing would be 88 or something like that so that's four way right there and there's four way right here so red green solved next we can see immediately there's one away here so if I can just find something else that's one away 18 plus this is 69 18 plus this is 80 so that is one away Put this on the red side, put that one on the green side. Next puzzle. Hmm. I kind of like this, but in all honesty, there's there's something that's kind of missing here. Uh, if this was 10, maybe 20 puzzles that a inside of a bigger game and they just wanted you to have a break and say okay for the next few minutes we're gonna ask you to just solve these puzzles then I'd be cool with it but as it is doing a hundred and seventy right th right around right back to back with nothing in between is is not adding anything here this adds up to 109 uh, it, this is something I would attribute to something you'd want to break between a real game uh, and I, I hate to use that phrase real game but it's kind of what it is or where I would put it I would say uh, I would say that I don't think this can be the main element and for it to be hugely appealing. It, often I have seen in video games the idea of uh, some mini game element being very interesting and attractive to to a person uh, and to me in particular even and then I would want it and I kind of wish in the back of my head that that was the whole game or that they made a version of something like that for uh, for the for a cell phone version of the game that a great example of this is because I don't feel like I'm really making myself clear I kind of feel like I'm just rambling here and I am trying not to do that definitely uh, is Gwent in The Witcher 3 like Gwent is a game you can in, in The Witcher 3 is a card game that you can totally skip and but it's fun enough to play it's not as good or as varied as Hearthstone but now that it's becoming its own separate thing they can now have the opportunity to uh, 
add more to the game and by adding more to the game I feel like they probably will will be able to address that issue a little bit more and, and make it more of an interesting thing. Let's see. This would be 93. This would be 98. Hmm. I'm one away, but I don't have a one away. What? Let's see. This was... This here was 50, 58. So if I put this here and this here and then take that out, now I'm two away instead of one away. Hmm. So. And I could change it again. I could change it to, from 60 to 59. Hmm. Let's see, 60. Combine this equals 118. Hmm. Let's see, maybe make this 58. And then take this. And that's three away. Right? Yep. No, two away. <clears throat> but two away. Couldn't I turn this this way? Nope, that does not work. now I'm even further away. Let's try the old mechanism here. We'll start with the biggest number, 98, and then the next biggest number is 85. And if I add 85 to this, it's 104, so that goes over, over, which probably means I shouldn't include that. Then the next biggest number should be, well, right now it's 13 away. If I add this, it would be 14 away so that's that's the difference you want to close the gap on on the number line hmm. they when I was in math and this is probably aging me a little bit there really wasn't a lot of thought of the mathematical thinking of number line math that's something I had to learn separately later uh, it does seem like it has a better implementation, I would say, than what we have, what, what I was taught. Uh, I, I think particularly in math, the old ways are not the better ways is a pretty obvious truth. Uh, so, now that I've separated things out, then we just need to reduce it by two. So probably you might be able just to eliminate this. And no, that reduced it by nine. So that. Hmm. Something that adds to the gap. In the wrong direction. Hmm. No, it, it's it's going to be a matter of switching something, like switching this and switching that. But see, that obviously doesn't work. We'd have to be moving something somewhat close together. Hmm. See, that doesn't work also. But yeah, I think the number line method is now the better way to do things. I also 
will fully admit though that it's almost certainly not going to be the end all and be all of math. I think we'll probably slowly figure out that uh, there's better ways to do things all over the place. Here we go. 84 and 85. Then I put this one on the green side, this one on the red side. Uh, in general, mathematics is, is a very weird thing because numbers are inherently made up. The fact that we, that our, almost all our mathematical theorems and hypotheses and stu such uh, work the way they work is because we count by one, two, three, four, five, six whole numbers. A circle is 360 degrees, uh, things like that. In some other potential reality, maybe we maybe there's a number between one and two that is equal distance, and so it's not one and a half; it's actually just a new number. And we have had some of that in the past because uh, the numbering system we have right now is a base 10 numbering system binary is a base 2 uh, numbering system with 0 and 1 computers could theoretically be made in the trinary system so a 0 a 1 a 2 we have quantum computers that are either a base 3 or 4 system where it could be 0 or 1 or both uh, or both I guess that would be a trinary system, or neither, <laughs> maybe, if neither is an option to be. And when you start doing math on different systems of, of numbering, where there is no number 10, when, where there is no, where there is a number 11 before you can't go around again, uh, mathematics completely changes, and the way of thinking of mathematics it's very close to completely changing and and mathematics in general is just this ever-evolving thought that's somewhat fascinating and often frustrating let's see so we have a 35 and a 36 so I don't want to include that can I get to a 72 well wait a minute this is 72 right here isn't it no it's an 82 so that's a difference of 10 this is a 76 and an 86 though so 86 on the red and this and this and that solves it moving on to the next one this game has also got me looking at my clock a lot more often because as I I would assume, this is simply a guess, but I would assume as I'm spending mental energy uh, doing these puzzles, I'm losing probably the ability to... to subconsciously keep track of time that normally I'm very good at knowing just where about a uh, 30 minutes is 25 minutes or so but in this case it's it's not working that well Sixty-six doesn't get us close enough. That's a five away. Seventy-four gets us to this. Seventy-eight gets us eight away, so that would not be helpful. Hmm. This plus this is eighty-six. That's not big enough. This plus this is 94. 94 plus 93 works. 
and then I just put this one on the red side and that one on the green side and we're on to the next one. And I don't believe we get to the next set until uh, 180 or so and I guess it really doesn't matter too much because uh, we at that level or uh, we'll start seeing single digits again in the puzzle so I can add I can figure that out so we have 92 versus 90 that's two away 50 versus 51 is one away uh, but I guess I don't need that because if I'm two away here 98 96 solves it there we go hmm. this is an interesting puzzle because there isn't a number below 50 in the entire thing so unless they were really really nice we're going to end up getting rather large numbers now 97 98 is one away this is four away this is six away this is ten away this is 18 away the biggest number here would be 111 but then even adding 111 doesn't help you any because the next biggest number you could add up is 120 131 and that's just going to get larger and larger and so looking at the sum of the numbers is not helpful hmm. so the 60 is almost certainly not going to get used because it's 14 away from that so i wish this game had like a cross out thing uh there is that what is that called hmm. that japanese crossword puzzle game with the numbers that was rather popular for a while there uh sudoku yes sudoku it's somewhat like this and and usually when you play a sudoku game you can mark out possible options that aren't that you know aren't going to be used uh, so a six difference here a 11 difference there is there an 11 difference between a 60 and a 50 hmm, nine difference there hmm. see 18 difference there 17 27 difference there hmm 108 plus this would be a 10 difference let's try that 108 to this is a difference of 10 and there's a difference of 10 between these two so that works Put that on green, put that on red, move on to the next one. That's not usually the case, though. So, here we would have a difference of six between these two. Here we have a difference of three, here we have a difference of four, here we have a difference of seven. Man, they are not helping us, but they kind of did. Uh, if I'm doing the math right. All of these combined will go back and forth between each other and eventually work our way to it. See? The difference of three that's here. Now I just need to put that on the red side and that on the green side. But. That is one of those minor mental miracles that I figured that out. There's a difference of 10 here. Is there a difference of 10 anywhere else? No. Nope. 84, there's a difference of one there. There's a difference of one between any of the other things. Hmm. 149 plus 147 would be a difference of two but that's not what we're looking for because we already 
have that difference of one here. Hmm. If only these two weren't included. Like, like that. That would give us a difference of three, which then if I do this, that gets us down to one, which then if I do this, that gets me down to zero. See, and I believe 180 is the final puzzle that in this collection, I think I could be wrong. 57, 72, 57 to 54. That's a difference of two. Is there anything that would be close? Hmm. Part of the problem here is this. 98, let's see, 148, that's too high. I have 98 here. Put that there, um, that's a difference of eight. Uh, this would be 90, 102. So 144 in 146, that's a difference of two. And so then the question is, can I reduce this and reduce this? Hmm. Say I get rid of these and this, first of all, and then get rid of this, and then get rid of this, that's a difference of 8, let's try getting rid of this one and then adding this one, that's a difference of 3, <laughs> let's try replacing this one with this one, that's a difference of one. There we go. So put this in the red and that there, and we've solved it. And let's go ahead and hit escape and just see. I thought it was 180, but I guess I might be a little bit wrong here. Two digits only. Nope, I was right. 181 is the first full range and they just chose not to have any single digit numbers which that kind of sucks but we'll we'll get to that eventually so this is a difference of three these two are a difference of three there we go and see they really needed to move this puzzle to 81 and 181 and this and just swap them around so that you saw a single digit and you knew what group you're in it's kind of pointless unless this is on a tap a cell phone game and even then it's kind of pointless to not have a second row here that says what group you're in uh, it is kind of silly to the to break to have it just go up to 250 you could have broken it up and and said this is group five one so five dash one we don't need to get up to numbers that high it, it doesn't really do anything uh, a lot of video games get caught in that trap for certain they they play the numbers game like it's an a really amazing thing when it isn't it's like Hmm. 98 to 99 to this on green and that on red. There we go. Like pinball in particular is probably the first originator of that idea of things just being crazy high as far as numbers. But 
it's almost I'm, I'm willing to forgive pinball for my own love of pinball because of that it's let's see I, I wanted to have this here instead of these two and then that's a difference of two which puts that there and that there hmm. the ways you go about in a pinball game to get points though also kind of justify it that's as part of the core idea of the game where having 250 levels in this game does isn't really part of the core of it let's see we have one here if i added this this would be 80 that would be a difference of five if i add this together that would be 61 instead of 64 or 66 Let's see, right now I have a difference of two. If I change something to 61, that would be a difference of of one, of five. So put this on the red side, this on the red side. Get rid of that. 61, that's a difference of five. And the difference, oh, come on, where, where was it? It was 80 to 85. Ooh, that doesn't work, does it? No, it doesn't. That's a difference of three now. This would be 79 to 86. Hmm. I could change it to that and get rid of that. And that's a difference of four. Hmm. I could change this to this and reduce it to a difference of three. Hmm. But I still gotta swap something. 82 versus 85. So maybe we put this here and get rid of these two. And now that's a difference of six. How did that happen? Hmm. went too far yeah I went the wrong direction I, I need to change this out Let's see this is 50 51 when you combine these two if I put that there and get rid of these hmm. put that there that's a difference of two Let's see 50. Let's put that there and that can solve it. Nice. Okay. It's a good point to end since we've gone 30 minutes. Nice, calm, relaxing game. Not a lot to say. At, at 186 puzzles into it. So we got two rows, six puzzles into full three and none of these puzzles have messed me up too bad I've, I've never spent more than maybe five minutes on a puzzle we need to go from 186 all the way to 240 which hmm, is that about it's about 54 puzzles I think if I did the math right there uh, and then let's see 54 if I do 20 or 30 in a row uh, in a recording that would be amazing but I wouldn't be surprised if it's as low as 10 and then we've just got nine of the three multiples of threes and then the ultimate and in comparison and just as far as how far we've gotten we are 90 90 away I suppose 
a little less than 90. 80? 70? Yes, 70 puzzles. If we're at 186, about 70 puzzles. To get to 250, we've done 180. Uh, we've made made it as far past the middle point, and we're now rounding up the more difficult yet fewer puzzles, and then we'll be done. That's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.